Everybody, Gary here with Pound Music. I hope you enjoyed that performance of Stronger Than Me by Amy Winehouse with Alyssa Harris on vocals. So Alyssa is someone that I played with in wedding bands and cover bands in Austin, Texas. She's now based in New York. She headlines cruise ships. She travels all around the country and the world performing. She's an incredible vocal coach. She actually used to be my vocal teacher at one time, so be sure to follow her. I'll put the link in the description. So in this portion of the video, I'm going to show you how I approached playing guitar with her. I gave it a kind of neo-soul vibe by giving that kind of accent on beats two and four. So that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Right? So every time two and four happens, I'm kind of slapping. And on the first couple chords, it's pretty straightforward because nothing happens during the slap. So it's play, slap, play, slap. 
But here, when I go, what's happening is during the slap, I'm also flicking. So there's like a slap flick thing going on. And that's part of the technique so that even during the slap, I don't stop playing other notes. So basically that just requires some independence of the thumb and these other fingers that kind of uh, flick down. So we're gonna go over how to put all this together. We're gonna start really simple. As always for Pound Music patrons, you could download the tab PDF, playable tab that you could open in Guitar Pro. Pound Music patrons get instant access to hundreds and hundreds of posts all of the supporting resources that I've ever posted to go along with all of my lessons, exclusive content, downloadable PDFs, and best of all, twice weekly live small group Zoom guitar hangouts that I've been doing for years. We get together for an hour and a half twice a week, typically Thursday evening, Saturday morning to early afternoon. So on average, we have eight sessions per month for patrons currently at the $10 tier and above. And the link to sign up is in the description. Besides the technique, we'll go over the theory a little bit, talk about what key we're in, what these chords are in the key. And then the solo I played was actually from Amy's Live at BBC version of this song, which was recorded on the Jules Holland Show. And that trumpet solo is so cool. And what I love about transcribing horns is you get these ideas that most guitar players don't play. So you get all these cool ideas. And I always find it fun to put those horn ideas on the guitar. And this one had a really, the way it opens, there's this chromatic line. So I'm gonna create a separate lesson all on that solo. And I'll link to that in the description. Once it's ready, this one's gonna come first. But now let's go over the acoustic parts. All right, so the first chord is just G minor seven. And being I'm playing finger style, I could play this chord with one finger, right? So just FYI, when you play all six strings, that's basically an E minor 11 chord, or you could say like an E minor seven add 11. So when we do this, it's the same thing, right? But we're skipping over the A string. Typically when I would play this chord with a pick, if I had a pick and I was gonna strum through, I would go like this. I would play the fifth fret of the A string. But, or I would go like this and mute the A string with my flesh in between. But being we're doing a finger style, I'm just gonna skip over the A string and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hold this down with my index finger and I'm gonna go thumb on the low E string, then index on the D, and then I have my middle finger and ring finger on the G and the B strings. And that's basically what I'm doing is. And then after I play, I want to make the sound stop. So I let go of the pressure. See, when I lift a little bit of the pressure, but don't take my finger off, it kills the notes. Right? Now at the same exact time, I'm just gonna kind of slap my hand into the strings. So see, we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, right? So my thumb is kind of parallel to the strings. My index is just, I have some nail. My index just ripped off a couple days ago, but the nail is going to kind of pluck up on the D string. And then the nail of the other two fingers, those are nice and long right now. I've got those kind of like glued together and they're kind of plucking up on the other two strings. And I just load the string right where the flesh meets the nail. So. Like that. Cool. We go slower. Go at a speed that works for you, but really try to feel the one, two, three, four. It's all about the groove with this style. You're kind of like a drummer. Awesome. Then we walk it up to the note A. So after the G minor, we do G sharp, fourth fret on the low E string 
to A with the thumb. Now this cool chord is a A7 sharp 5. Cool kind of altered dominant 7 chord. And the way that I'm playing that, index, 5th fret of the low E string, skip over the A string, middle finger on the 5th fret of the D string, and then I take my ring finger and pinky and put those on the 6th fret of the G and the B string. So we're in the key of D minor. And this is basically four, five, one. Now this chord is altered, we're making it dominant, which is not natural to the key. Natural to the key, it would be minor. But by making it dominant, we're, we're adding this leading tone. Da, da. And that leading tone, da, da, is gonna land on the root note of the next chord, D minor. Da, da. Now that also invites harmonic minor, and we hear that like in the main riff. So sometimes in the melody we hear, you should be stronger than me. That word strong, that's the leading tone. So you should be, I wish Alyssa was here right now. You, you should be strong. Right, so that's called harmonic minor. And in the solo, if you watch that lesson, you'll see there's a little bit of that harmonic minor thing happening as well. So that's really common in a minor key. We take the five chord, which diatonically speaking, it would be minor, but we make the third major. And this sharp five, both the both the regular five and the sharp five are in the key. But the sharp five just creates a little more tension and also a kind of pedal tone going to the D minor because it, it becomes the, the third of the D minor. Just pausing for a second to say that if you really want to understand how music works in general, but as it's applied to the fretboard and how we could connect that theory and that understanding of the fretboard with the music that we know and love and also create music by using those concepts, check out my Fret Live Fretboard Mastery Program. So far we've had over a thousand students that have been able to really take their guitar playing to the next level. I offer that both as a live course where each of the 12 units, there's two live classes with me and the other students and you share your work with students and then also as a self-paced version, which is 50% off, but you won't have the live classes and the student interaction. You'll just have all of the videos and downloads and content on the course platform. All right, let's get into it. So anyway, we get to this chord and we're going to get to it by going. And what I'm doing is I play the root note and then I use index, middle, and ring finger to just pull up on the other three strings. So. And again, after I do that, I do the slap. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we play a D minor seven on the and of four. What do I mean? One and two and three and four and one and two. So it happens just before the down beat. One, two, three, four, one. And now I'm basically, I'm kind of switching it up, but I'm, I'm always playing the root. And the D minor seven, we bar the fifth fret starting on the A string down. And then we add the ring finger on the uh, seventh fret of the D string. And then the middle finger on the sixth fret of the B string. Right, cool. So. 
And sometimes I'm hammering on that ring and, and middle finger like this. So. Sometimes I think I do that, or maybe every time, I'm not sure. But experiment with it. And I'm basically playing the middle four strings, thumb on the A string, four string five, counting toes to nose, and then index, middle, ring on the next consecutive strings. Right, so. Then what I do is just kind of play a single note, like say the D string with my index finger. And then I use my middle finger to sh flick down while I slap with my thumb. So the thumb comes like this and the thumb and the middle finger flicks downward. If you get really good at it, you could single out a string. See that? I, I'm so if I don't flick, but I just do a small motion without going like that, I could single out a string. So that's something you can practice or just flick. Right? So I would practice just going. So what am I doing there? I'm, I'm playing all the notes. Then I'm doing a slap flick. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool, right? Yeah, that's really that, so. Right, try this with me. So I do all the notes, then like a single note, and then a flick. Then now I stay on the D minor, and I do a variety of things. I might add this note with my pinky on the uh, high E string, the note C, and that's on the eighth fret of the high E string with my pinky. Or I might add the note G, which is on the 8th fret of the B string with my pinky. So I've done things like, throughout that you'll see me go, like, uh, or I'll do, or I'll do a hammer on pull off. I'll do an arpeggio like right so one two three four always slapping on the two and the four yeah now the hammer on pull off that's you just want to get used to using that pinky while holding down the chord nice and tight. And it's just hammer, pull, hammer, pull. A good thing to practice is take that chord, hammer on and pull off five to eight on the high E, six to eight on the B, five to seven on the D. <laughs> you can do something like that. Yeah, so there's all these different possibilities. Now, Amy does sometimes play an F, my, an F major 7. So sometimes she'll go. Now, I didn't do that because I wanted to keep the root note D right here. And so basically with a D root note, which is what the bass player is doing, this just becomes a D minor 9 chord. So even though it sounds like an F major 7 by itself, when there's a D in the bass, uh, it will sound in context more like a D minor 9. 
So you could go. Cool sound. In retrospect, I probably should have done that. But I met up with Alyssa kind of last minute. I was in New York for the holidays. I was like, hey, want to make a video? I know you like Amy Winehouse. What song? She told me that morning. So I just quickly listened to it and we went to the studio. So in retrospect, I might have done it slightly different, but I think it worked really well. And I think the, the groove, the slow groove with the slapping really helped us keep our time locked in together, gave it that cool kind of hip hop neo soul vibe just with those slaps on the two and the four. So that's really it on my approach to the verse. Then on the chorus, I played F major seven and I kind of strummed that. So, and I, you know, just down, 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 up, up, down, down, that kind of thing, right? And I'm just playing this F major triad with an open high E string. So just playing this straight line triad with a with an open high E. And then using my thumb to grab the root and the A gets muted. To G9. Which is kind of interesting. Which is kind of like the key, that's like two chords in the key of C. It's kind of interesting. So it's not G minor like it was earlier. But anyway, it's, uh, you know, because that would be the four chord and then the five chord. And here's the one. Feel like a lady and you're my lady boy. So I go from this F major to then this G7. Typical G7. It's like a G bar chord, but lift up your pinky. And then I add the ninth with my pinky on the fifth fret of the high E string. So it's... I, so it's... I've forgotten all of your most joy. And I kind of, I think I hammered on. And then I add the ninth a little later. So that was the first way I played it. Then I did this F major seven, which is what Amy plays in the video. And that's basically, this is from the A shape. This was from the, uh, this is the E shape, right? It's an offshoot of the E shape, and this is an offshoot of the A shape. So index finger on the uh, eighth fret of the A, ring finger, 10th fret of the D, middle finger, ninth fret of the G, and then pinky, 10th fret of the B. And you could also bar the high E string if you want to get the eighth fret of the high E, that's also part of the chord. But I just went with the middle five strings and I just kind of mute. I use my index to mute this E and the flesh of my index to mute that E. And then same G7 I played. But you could go like this. I could have done that, but being I was playing acoustic, I wanted to get that lower note. So, you know, you could play right there a G9. Which would be 10th fret with the middle finger of the A string, 9th fret index finger on the D, and then bar this triad up top on the 10th fret. So it's... Or if you want the middle four strings, you don't have to bar, you can use the ring and the pinky on the G and the B string. So you can go... Something like that, but I did that. And that was my entire approach, being strummy on that chorus section and then coming back to that, that groove and that feel on the verses. You know, sometimes doing hammer-ons on the D minor and pull-offs, sometimes arpeggiating. Sometimes just, right, so. That 
that kind of thing. Or or that's an arpeggiation. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to go over that solo from her live album that the trumpet player plays in a separate video. So if you want to go over that, link is in the description. Have fun. Happy playing. Be sure to follow Alyssa Harris Music. Link in the description. I'll see you next time. And before I go, I just want to extend a huge thank you to the following POW Music patrons. Jason, Shogun7, Nick P, Billy Paps, Pete Elliott, Sean Westfall, Wes Williams, Eric Pelles, Darren Jones, Dr. Ixlin, Andy, Dennis McNulty, Paul Weatherall, Hal Jones, T. Fletch, Dmitry Unkovsky, Greg, Joe, Wayne Evans, Jeff Lambert, Jorge Vaz, Jack Williams, Joe Prengel, L.W., Dave Hubner, Fred Locke, Ruben Garcia, Kay Carter, Steve C., Jens Fischer, Joseph Alpert, Mu Jang, Darren, Jonas, Jesse Jacobs, David McPherson, Michael L., Brent Owens, Andrew Gunthart, Jay Brilliant, Jake Martin, William Creighton, Donald James Grass, Chris Freeman, Stephen Pisano, Trampus Thompson, Kent Gresham, John Cushman, Bob Aschetti, Derek Mickle, Sean Ellis, Jeff Weatherwax, Boomer Dell, and Joe Fleck. Thank you so much, and thank you to all of the POW Music patrons for helping to make it possible to provide all this free content here on YouTube. Thank you so much. Happy playing. I'll see you next time.